What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Matt. I own a laser engraving company and embroidering and I do it out of my garage. Before we go any further, I work with both companies. So take it for what it's worth. I am giving my honest opinion on what I think. I am not getting paid to go one way or the other. I do not do scripts. So for the companies that are out there and they want to work with me and you say you have to follow a script, no, I do not do that and I will not do that to my viewers. No way, no how, ever. So now after that's all said, let's get on to the show. This video shouldn't be these two compared to each other. This video should be comparing to Epilogue. I think Bolt is onto something and Epilogue should look out. Today we're going to be talking about the M2 and the Bolt. Which one is coming in first and which one's coming in last? So first thing right off the bat between both machines, the bed is a big key in this. And as I'm making this video, I am just talking about this Bolt. I know they've come out with another one, but we're gonna talk about this one that I have in front of me. This one, the bed is smaller than the X-Tool. So if you're ordering everything online and you got it figured out or you have a bunch of wood and you're getting ready to P2, you're thinking we're getting the Bolt. The beds are different. P2 has got it by a couple inches. So that's what she said. <laughs> we'll give that point goes towards X-Tool. The other thing is the Bolt has a front pass-through. Not a back, just a front. So you can put items in right here. There's some draw to that. If you're gonna make signage, then this laser probably won't work for you because you cannot feed it all the way through, which is fine. The P2 would then be your great probably item to get because you can do a feed table also with the P2. If you're gonna do long signage, that would be the route I would say to go. Now you have the other thing that plays a concern for me and it should for other people. Well, there's more than just this, but the CO2 part of it. This one is an RF tube. So it's, let's just put it in short, easy terms. It is air cooled, not water cooled. The P2 is water chilled CO2. So with that being said, if you're in a cold area, you gotta put antifreeze in here. You don't want that to freeze and go to your tube. That'd be bad. It wouldn't work at all. So this one can sit right next to the garage door. It's fine. All I would do is I would start this up when I use it in the winter and let it run for a little bit, warm up, and get all cozy and such before you just take off with it. Now the other thing is loud. Right now they're not running, they're just on, and they're they're both quiet. You can't really hear them. They're both about the same. But when you start them up, the P2 loses. Hardcore. It is so ungodly loud. It's not even funny compared to the Bolt. The Bolt is like a... <laughs> it's a little louder than what it is now because of the air compressor. But honestly, the P2 is... It's the noise maker. Which could be good for some things, but not in this case. <laughs> now we got some other points that are going towards the Bolt. And I would have to say it's because it's a personal thing with me, because I've been dealing with Thunder now for a while. Their customer support has been phenomenal. Always has. Um, X-Tool, I can't say that. And that's nothing, well, I was gonna say it's nothing bad, but it actually is. They should work on that. So X-Tool, when you see this, don't get mad, work on it. Support is a huge thing, especially for us that are in the US. It's different times from across the seas. So if you can't get the support to help you out, then you're not gonna be running, which you're not gonna be making money, and then you're not happy and you gotta upset customer. So support, in my eyes, is a huge thing because I am here to make money and get my stuff out, and I want to get it out and get it fixed up and running. Correct me if I'm wrong, put in the comments and let me know. Please, I love it when you guys give me all the criticism in the comments and everything. I love it. This one gets another point because they go through light burn. The P2, you can go through light burn, but you're limited on options and what you can do. This is a downfall. And the reason why I'm saying a downfall, because if you look at Glowforge with their cloud system, what did it do to them? Same thing. If you, you have this business, you should be able to have multiple things to work out of. And I know a ton of people love Xtool and they just don't like the creative space, which I don't either. I find light burns a lot easier and faster and more efficient. So 
if they just fixed that where I could use light burn and still run this and use all the options as you can with creative space then it'd be an even table there on that and they get a point back but for now they get a point off now they both get a point for this one because the cameras the onboard cameras are both really good honestly I have no problem with them once you calibrate them and you get them going they both work good I haven't had an issue with the P2 since I've had it and I haven't had an issue with the bolt since I've had it I've had this for a while you guys knew it, it was in the box but then I took it out and then I went on I didn't do any videos for a while and I may have partied also a little bit but I also was doing a lot of research and work on this so all said and done the bolts probably got one up on the x-tool and what it really comes down to is a lot of the like you have the tube for example that's a huge thing people that don't want the maintenance I mean this this one is basically an epilogue let's put it that way I'm not joking it is the engraving that I'm doing and seeing is insane like this came out of there the detail that this is putting out compared to any co2 at that matter it's unreal the other thing is you don't have the maintenance and worrying about changing the water and so forth so maintenance free for all those people that want that this is the bolt would be your way to go and the one thing i really like about the bolt also and i and it's maybe it's me, but I like using these clips. And this has got a honeycomb bed. So it's really easy for me to just throw in these clips and they hold it down. And you can't do that with X-Tools bed. They have they sell clips with it, but they're it's they're not these. <laughs> you can't use them. So this is all my opinion. You guys take it for what it's worth to me. They're both good lasers, they both have their purposes, but this is, this is, this is, if you don't want the maintenance and you don't want to worry about anything else, this is the machine. I did, I, okay, I flat out, I stink at photos, but I tried doing photos in both, and I failed. <laughs> but I had fun. I can perfect perfect it, I'm sure. I know I can. There's people out there that do really good. But, hey, I didn't do too bad. A couple more uh, shots with it. I'll be a pro one day. Now the one thing that's going to make the bolts shine more than the P2 is the speed. The bolts got on the speed. The P2 can run up to 600. This can go up to 1,000. That's a huge difference. It is pretty fast. They did their they did their homework. When they're considered basically the same price, I think they did really good. I'm really impressed. This actually, this video shouldn't be these two compared to each other. This video should be comparing to Epilogue. I think Bolt is onto something and Epilogue should look out. And to my viewers, this is to you. This the end part is to you. I am sorry I've been gone for a while. Well, actually, I'm not sorry. I had fun. I'm in, I've been swamped. So I'm not sorry whatsoever. I'm doing my best. I'm only human. If you didn't notice in the last video I did, I redid the whole shop. See, it's my door. Can't get out of this door no more. <laughs> but things have been going great. I hope it's going great for you. And if it's not, cheer up. Dig in deep and start doing something. Stop sitting around and whining. You got this. You can do it. It is awesome. And when you are on top like me, and strong like me. <laughs> Dude, it's so freaking worth it. You guys get pumped, get out there, start selling stuff, start making stuff because it's out there. Dude, there's money to be made. Yeah, okay, maybe you're not doing a good at Etsy. Then go somewhere else and do something else. Come on, your machines are sitting there. Don't let them sit. Make money with your machines. That's what it's about. Have fun. If you have fun, you'll make money. <laughs> Glad you got to see me again. <laughs> Bye.